Hey, I'm Lena Lux, a Linode developer advocate, and today we're going to be setting up Umbrel on Linode. Umbrel is a beautiful personal server OS. It allows you to set up a number of different apps on it, which we're going to be covering in future videos. Um, some of them include Nextcloud, which is a whole productivity platform. It allows you to do emails, photo and document editing, um, video calls, appointments, calendars, contacts, all those kinds of things within it. There's also Photo Prism, which allows you to backup and organize your photos across different platforms. There's also SyncThing, which allows continuous synchronization of your info, as well as a number of other apps that you can install and use on Umbrel. If you are interested in those videos, stay tuned because we will be putting out walkthroughs on how to set those up. You can also subscribe to the channel, of course, which will help keep you updated on that. The first thing we're going to do is set up a Linode account. If you don't already have one, be sure to use the link in the description so you can get some free credit. Once you're logged in, all you need to do is hit create, select Linode. We're going to use Debian 11, select the region closest to you. For me, it's Toronto. And we're going to select our plan. It's good to go with a dedicated server for this. Um, eight is a good place to start, but if you expect you're going to be using a lot of apps, then maybe you want to go higher. Otherwise, you can increase in the future. Give your Linode a name. I'm going to say um, Umbrel2, since I already have one set up. And you can add some tags for organization purposes if you have a lot of Linodes. Otherwise, go ahead and set a password. OK. Um, now you can go ahead and create the Linode. There it is. It will take a few minutes while it says provisioning. So be patient here, and once it's good to go, we'll move on to the next step. Great, it's all set up, and it's green and says running. Let's move on to the next step. Let's hit the la launch lish console. And we're going to want to log in here. Great, we're all logged in. Now keep this handy. We're going to go ahead and navigate to umbrella.com in our browser. Here you can see this lovely website and where things, my name is Satoshi. And we're going to scroll down just a little bit and down here it gives you the instructions to install. So copy this command and head back over to the Lish console and paste that in there. Press enter and there it is, ready to go. We'll take a few minutes to set up, so give it some time to do that and then we'll check back in. Once you can see here in our Lish console that it says Umbrel has been successfully installed, we're all set. We can go ahead and close our Lish console. We can also close the Umbrel website. Back here, we're going to get our IP address for that Linode and paste that into our browser. And here you can see it's opening up Umbrel for us. Welcome to Umbrella. Your personal server is ready to set up. Let's click start and set up a name and password. Okay, let's create it. Wow. Congratulations, we're all set up. Great. So here we have some instructions to install our first app. If you look around a bit on Umbrel, you'll find things like your home here. There's the app store here. We have some settings where we can adjust things. Um, we have dark mode, fancy, and you can log out. In our next videos, we're going to cover setting up a few different apps. So stay tuned for those. If this video is helpful, don't forget to drop a like. And if you're looking for more tutorials on Umbrel and or Linode, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check on back for those. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.